All right, I'm painting the DB10. I'm dabbing it with gray. I have been dabbing it with gray. And I'm going to go back over it with the two green. I've got um, army green and moss green. I got the two mixed up because apparently I switched the lids. I put the green on the gray and the green or the gray lid on the green paint. Let me turn this back on. There we go. So, but I intend to go over it in the three colors multiple times, dabbing it. I gotta do the other side next. It's gonna look really cool because the undercoat's already gray. So, I'll keep filming. I'm gonna make this a video. I know I have another, I have another AR-10 video where I was shooting it. I need to upload. That I forgot to upload. But that'll be next. So stay tuned for the rest of this video. It shouldn't be too long. And if my camera dies, I'll start filming with uh, my cell phone. All right. Did the other side now. Got some more gray on there. You can see. I'm going to let this dry, then do the other side with some green. We're going to go back and forth on each side several times. I've already got some of my uh, paintbrush sponges uh, made up. These have been, I flayed them a little bit with the uh, Case Double X. Oh, there went my light again. But yeah, I've got them all fuzzed up for a little bit of difference in the pattern. I mean, they're mostly blotches. There we go. Oh, but blue burn away. There's a little bit of fuzz on the gun. <laughs> I'm jamming out here to some pentagram out of luck. So. It's a work in progress, but I'm going to keep at it. And we're probably going to hit each side about maybe six or seven times with all three different pa patterns. If I, I've decided to do that, I'm just going to like go until it looks pretty, pretty fucking cool. So <laughs> here, let's go some more. All right, I hit it with the army green. Coming along pretty good. I pecked it a couple times. Like I said, I'm gonna go, keep going. I'm probably gonna go back through with that same green after I put down the other green. Just keep hitting it up. Listen to the pentagram again. That one's called Vampire Love. Hell yeah! But this is turning out pretty cool. So let's keep going. All right, I hit the other side now. Put the army green. Gonna we'll wait for it to dry, then switch the colors. Go to the deeper green. Turning out pretty cool. Got candle mask going now. Oh yeah. All right, <clears throat> just got done hitting it with moss green. This color right here. As you can see, you got some. I got some lighter green. The moss green's a little bit darker, and then the flat darker thing, or not flat darker, uh, the olive drab color coming through with the gray. And I'll do the other side and kind of repeat. Go back over it with a little bit smaller uh, brushes. I think I'll reduce the size of these so that way it's a little bit, make them a little bit smaller. That way it's like peppered through. And I keep doing that, turning that back on. <laughs> Let's 
Yep, but this is it so far. I'm starting to love it. All right, <clears throat> I hit the other side with moss green. Yeah, but looks better that way. Let y'all see what it looks like. Now I'm gonna go back up it. I turn this on again, damn it. <laughs> um, and like I said, I'm gonna rehit it with the other colors again. Up and down both sides again. In the same way. And that will wrap it up. It's turning out really, really good. Better than I would have thought. Heck yeah. All right. Starting to do little dabs with the small brush. The small little brushes I've made now. Here you hit it with a gray. Just got done with the other side. Just got done with this side. This is the longest painting I've ever done, but I'm doing really, really good. It's turning out way better than I thought it would. And I'm just going to keep going. Got two more coats to go. <laughs> it's already. <laughs> 11, 16. This is the longest painting I've ever done. But it's going to pay off. Hell yeah, I'll be out here all night if I have to be. All right. This project has reached its end. I redabbed this side again. So, all that's left is to let it dry and then take it in. And I'll do a video showing you guys exactly how it looks in better light. So, stay tuned. All right. So that wraps up the camo job. I finally got done with it. <clears throat> I I picked the hell out of it with the colors. I'll guy, let you guys see it. I'm trying not to knock everything off my desk. I got paint on my fingers. And man, it looks good on camera in the light. It looks really good. Let me flip it over. Yeah, this thing is freezing it was a lot colder out there than I thought it was because I was wearing this uh, Black Sabbath uh, pullover and my camera's about to die so I need to wrap this up anyway that concludes the painting of the new AR-10 I've already got new stuff on the way for it I've got some uh, m lock rail covers and a flashlight coming for it already and uh, been looking at some other stuff like different grips and butt stocks. I was mostly doing that while I was painting it. It turned out really good. It turned out really, really good. I got more footage of this bad boy coming. And I intend to take it out a lot more. Try to anyway. Uh, my one week vacation is coming to an end. Anyway, before this dies, the colors I used were moss green. Army green, the camouflage rustoleum, and satin gray. So anyway, this has been Pluskin by 51 millimeter. That concludes this camo video, and I'll catch you guys all on the next one. Peace.